Hello everyone. Welcome back to the cat lady. Last time was very weird. There's a screwdriver though. Uh, I'm gonna go to the ground floor. We ran into a gentleman called Joe Davis who wanted us to kill his wife, long story short, who was weird and maybe I should have, but anyway, that situation's over, so we're continuing exploring this apartment for the Eye of Adam. And I think that I can use this on the tent paint. I can easily pry it open with the screwdriver. Done. I can pick up the tin now. Alright. Also, sorry for eating. I'm hungry, but like, not the kind of hungry. I can't- what? Not a great color for your bedroom walls, but it would be perfect for writing threatening messages on the walls instead. It worked for Joe Davis, anyway. Unless, of course, those three sixes and hit on his bathroom door were written in real blood. I doubt it. Why can't I use this on the... the thingy? Okay, I guess that I'll have to do that later. Maybe we're gonna look for scissors then. But I'm kind of, I'm the kind of hungry, where I don't really want a full meal. I just kind of want a little something, something. So, um, I just have cereal in a small bowl, just dry cereal. Which floor should I go? Let me remind myself because it's been a couple of days. So, oh shoot. M is not map. I've been playing a lot of Fable, so M is map in my mind. Which makes sense. Okay. So we gotta do something about all of them. Really, I only have two to sort out, which is flat seven and flat eight, because flat six I, we're working on right now with the dress. And flat four is obviously ours, so we have to do something with flat seven. Maybe there is something in my apartment that I can that I can mess around with, and therefore, you know, figure things out. Unless I can't go in there, which would be really annoying. I can't. No, oh, I can't. I can just go halfway through the door and then stop. So try the fourth floor, and we'll see what happens. I'm still really curious what we have to do with this extension cord. Because I haven't had the opportunity to use it, ever. I've already tried switching that off, so that wouldn't work. And I don't think I have anything else. No, I just have this. So what the heck's going on? What am I looking for? I, I really feel like I could have used this extension cord in that... in the empty place here. Because there was a very obvious outlet. And it just seemed natural. Extension cord, outlet, that's just the order of things. So, what up? Let's check it out. Why not? <laughs> Mitzi, personal space. Why can't I use this here? Because I swear to the Lord above that this looks like something I can do. Mitzi, do you, can you do anything? So, what next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail? There's a mailbox in the hall. Okay. That's a little random. I wouldn't have thought of that, but I guess we're gonna go do that. Let's go spy on people's mail. Look at what they're spending their money on and whatnot. Let's see. You got anything exciting for us, friends? No, ma'am. All the other compartments are locked. Well, that was a great suggestion, Miss Mitzi. We can't do anything with it. Wait a second. 
Can you pick Do you these? think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. God. Then do it quickly. Damn it. Someone can come in any minute. I'm so stupid. I forgot about her lock picking ability and a I just- A little room with a master locksmith. Hit my hand and it hurt. Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know that Mitzi actually picked Master the lock. Master criminal, if anything. I think that she kind of chews it off and that's why she doesn't want her seeing it. Because she's like, she's gonna think I'm a freak. So. Did you get Done. it? Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Oh, you did them quite a service. Letter to Pauline. Letter to Joe. Joe. Oh, that- yeah, Joe. <laughs> it's addressed to Joe Davis. He lives opposite me. Yeah, we know that already, but... It's from Dr. Frank Zellman. It appears he's Joe's shrink. Apparently, Joe failed to attend his weekly ses sessions recently. Well, well. It looks like Joe just is just as messed up as I am. Of course. Or worse. <laughs> Words aren't my strong point sometimes. Who knows? I should be the last to make judgments, really. Okay. Well, now we got a letter to, to baby lady. Not here. She'll be back any minute and we'll be caught red-handed. Okay. Where would you like to do this? Maybe in the basement? If you're cool with that? I don't know why... Whatever. Okay. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try. But I should warn you, I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Okay, cool. So we have our reason now. Um. Alright. Let's go be a babysitter. A nanny. Like Mary Poppins. Fourth floor, right? Yep. Fourth floor. Should I have had this cereal before? Probably. But I don't care enough. Coming! To not. Right. Step back. I'll handle this. Oh. Hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... You don't okay, know expensive. Maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm only joking. She probably does. Uh, hi, Pauline. Um... How are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. Oh, I missed... I mean... I don't know what... Oh, maybe you... Uh... Oh! Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I was a bit shy to come and ask like this, so she offered to come along. She is my favorite auntie. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Auntie Susan. No problem, sweetie. That's not awkward. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. How old is your daughter? She's nearly six months. That's perfect. Aren't they just the cutest, most adorable little muffins when they're six months old? Don't yes, oversell well, it. Yes, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. 
I'll wait. Please come in too, Auntie Susan. I can really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes. Well, you'll... What did she just tell you? This isn't nice. Okay. I'll come. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. It's very true. What a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated it myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Do you really Look, have to talk so loud though? I need so you to loud, stay though. cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? Ah, oh, great. Okay. My first thought was we can go into the kitchen and, like, break a dish or some shit, but that's a little rude, so let's not do that. Um, they're mostly photos of a baby. There are a couple of Pauline and her ex- Oh, sorry. And her ex. His face missing on each one of them. If she wants to cut this guy out of her life so badly, why won't she just take these pictures down? None of our business. Hello, Pauline. How are you doing? Okay. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she has a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Um, all day. Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Alyssa, but my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Where do you work? There just isn't enough support for working parents. Where's Alyssa's dad, do you mind me asking? That's kind of inappropriate. That's a little overbearing. Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. Oh, God. <laughs> there just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, oh, okay, they will cut my maternity pay in half. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. Uh... Let's be nosy. Where's Alyssa's dad? Do you mind me asking? I... I'd rather not talk about it. It's personal. As far as I'm concerned, Alyssa hasn't got a father. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, it's alright, but I just don't like talking about it. I'm sure you'll understand. I'm a super babysitter. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I... Yes, definitely. But... I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just... Ordinary things, this and that. What do you mean, what have you been you look touching? clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... 
Stroked a filthy looking dog. I volunteered at a hospital. I hooked a homeless man outside this house. What the hell? Uh, still, I just had a bad cold. Still sneezing a lot. Let's go and make ourselves look like a good Samaritan. I volunteered at the hospital earlier today. Oh, I'm impressed. You don't see many young people doing that these days. But you're right. As nice as that is of you, there's all sorts of bugs you can pick up in a hospital. It won't hurt to be extra careful. I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously? Do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Whoever it is, they are very persistent. Jesus. Oh. Uh. Carter, kitchen's clean. Shit. Most of these photos show Pauline and her kid. There's also some guy and a few of them, but his face seems to be kind of uh, odd. Yeah, we know. Um. Nothing useful here, just books, 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 and a few toys. Okay, fine. What the- what? Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? Agency? What agency? <laughs> the Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into childminding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. This isn't good. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. Jesus Christ, this woman is like... <laughs> She's a bit weird. I'm sorry, the position has already been taken. Wrong address. Yeah. Wrong address. Beat it, four eyes. I'm sorry, is this flat number eight? No, it's number 18. Now go away, or I'm calling the cops. So, you're not looking to employ a childminder? How do I say it so you would get it? No. That's Spanish for no. No. <laughs> the sign says number eight. It can't be wrong. When I said, beat it, which part did you not understand? There must have been some kind of mix-up. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. There's a fucking stroller outside. This is like... <laughs> okay, cool. That worked out well. Um, so she's gone. Unless she comes back, then we're gonna have to punch her in the face. It gets dark very early on this side of the building. God damn it. I, I don't care about that. There's a big TV. What can we use to distract this lady? Hey, baby. More photo Scissors. You have scissors right next to your six-month-old? And why is she lying by herself on the bed? She could fall off. Seems she spends a lot of time cutting her child's father out of photographs. Ah, uh, the dark secrets we all keep from the world. Stupid woman leaving baby right next to a pair of sharp scissors. That's right, Susan. That's right. Okay, so we have scissors, good. We have it for the later events. Pauline's laptop. I don't know enough about computers. I should leave it to Mitzi. I can hear the water running. I must hurry. They could be out any second now. Uh, a lot of photographs and Pauline interactions. Uh, okay, fine. We could, like, make a scary face and make the baby cry. So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. It's a little extreme. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! Jesus, I think I forgot to turn the tap off. My hands still aren't clean enough. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. I think I'm here. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. 
Boom. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please. More I support. <laughs> I, I'm scared. I need someone to hold my hair Everything's back. Everything's just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. You must have got some bag in the hospital after all. If it's a stupid babysitter again, I swear to God, we're gonna punch her. We're gonna hit her in the face with a pair of scissors. It's you. Again. Hello. Hello. Is this flight number eight? My name is Rita Tickle. From the Happy Nanny Agency. You May I come in, please? What do you mean, is this flat number eight? You didn't go anywhere. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I told you to go away. Get lost or we'll call it. Go away. What's the matter with you? I've told you to go away. You are looking for a nanny, yeah? And you are looking for a beating, yes? I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioural psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. Wow, I really didn't want to know that. Now, leave me alone. The I'm answer busy. to a question You don't need a nanny. For a hundredth time, no. I've sold my baby for organ transplants. Christ, Susan. What? <laughs> You're an evil person. You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. Yeah. I've already been to hell. They don't want me there. Ooh, you're edgy. Okay. We really need to find some kind of distraction for this lady. Um, oh, I don't know. Photos? Can I use the scissors on them? Or the fucking power outlet? No? Yeah, I... Well, I kind of figured that, to be honest. Cut? Can't cut anything here. Um... Jesus, I don't know. Can't cut anything there, either. Can I just, like, throw them out the window or something? Cut? Nope. Alright. Eh. Uh. Eh. Uh. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Can God fucking damn it. Oh! 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 Oh my god, we're gonna cut the power. That's what we're gonna do, because I'm a jeep. Ugh. Fuck. Okay. You know what? Susan's right, this is suicide. It would be a lot smarter to switch it off. Yeah, and then... Cut. The These scissors seem sharp enough. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. I get disappointed in me sometimes. <sighs> well, not that again. What happened to the lights? I'm... I'm terrified of the dark. I... I, I, I can't move. Oh god, I can't breathe. Calm down, it's alright. Probably just that stupid meter. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I, th I think I'm going to faint. Fine, just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It's not really take bad for her. We're, gi we're giving her such a hard time. She's a single mom and everything, and I'm playing as Mitzi now, so let's do some hacking. Right. Let's do it. Is that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? 
Um, no idea. Is that the sound maybe of a baby a crying? Blackout, because like in the old days. I think her baby might it's be probably a, just the meter. Let a me robot. See. Out like in the old days. <laughs> so it's not her either. A waste of time. It's time to leave. This interview is over. Well, yeah, what a waste of time. That was a lot of effort for no progress. I don't get it. The cable's been cut. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? But we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind about the job? No, of course not. I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Oh god, it's Perhaps that one. We can continue some other time. <laughs> I didn't even notice her standing there. I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical stall that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. Well, it was great seeing you. Does anybody but else want to come out now. and join us? Hello. Oh, Who's that? Christ. My name is Rita Tickle. Rita who? What the hell is going on here? Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? I've never seen her before in all my life. Well, that was quite the experience, but... Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house anyway. Thanks. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No. Of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. Okay, so we only have two left, and the other one will be taken care of pretty soon, so... Can I move now? Oh, I was like, why aren't I moving? I'm pushing the opposite. Okay. Right, so let's go there, do our business. We got scissors now so we can mess up the dress. Still don't know where we're gonna find a mask, but maybe in here, since this seems like the only viable option. No point knocking, I know he's not there, all right. Door is locked. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Security and whatnot. Oh God, you have a lock, lady. Now that he's gone, we can get inside? Yes, let's do that. I'll close my eyes and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay, but no peeking. I'd never. You've really hurt my feelings now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. There, job done. Hooray. Jesus, are these... What? Relax, Mrs. A. They're just Halloween masks. Oh, good. That's good. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head... This is probably like, what do you... How many have you... Oh. Oh. I hate clowns. I hate clowns so much I'd rather not- Really? I'd get terribly sweaty. Aw oh, man, why would you give me the option if I have to just take the generic hockey mask? Man. I don't know if they, these look illegal. I guess he just likes plants. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. 
The speaker is massive, and it's connected to Jesse's computer whenever he plays some uh whenever he plays some music, the walls must be shaking. Perhaps. Oh. Oh, that's a nice. It, it's an actual PC, it's not just like a <sighs> So this is where we So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. I guess we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Let's find out, shall we? Jeez. Mm, We're not gonna have to go back into his apartment, do we? Or are we? Oh, God. I'm having a lot of trouble with speaking today. Uh, this one. Right, where I originally saw the fucking socket, and then I couldn't do anything with it forever. I probably cut it out, but I... I tried to do a lot of things without oh, with that outlet in here. Because I was so convinced that I'd have to do something. And I do, it's just not what I had in mind. Oh, look at that. Yep, let's plug it in. Okay, cool. I hope that this place has electricity if there's nobody living in it. You know, no one to pay for the... the bills and whatnot, so... Let's go on up. Alright. Open this up. What is that noise that keeps happening? Because it's freaking me out. Right. I should be able to use that computer now. Could you give me five minutes, Mrs. A? Sure. Why not? I'll keep an eye on the door. Good. I'm guessing that the answer is no, that it's not him. It's not him either. God damn it! Well, I'm very skeptical, and I don't think that it's Brian. I know it's not us, obviously, unless plot twist. It's Susan. <laughs> Doubt it, though. Um, the only place we haven't been in at all is the old man's apartment. So either he's it, or he has someone living with him that is it. And we just don't know about it because we never got to go inside. So, let's... Okay, I'm like, what am I doing? So, maybe it is the old man after all. Or maybe he doesn't actually live here. Or he's Joe Davis and he left. And took his laptop with him with his actual internet history. 